Traditionally, women have endured abuse without complaint or recourse. But a growing network of women's centers, started after the December 2004 tsunami, is helping victims to break the silence. The tsunami uprooted hundreds and thousands of Sri Lankans. UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund, responded by creating 27 NGO-run spaces where affected women could find peace, privacy and support. The Islamabad Women's Centre in Kalmunai was set up in an ethnically diverse community that was hard hit by the tsunami. Some women who were depressed came for counselling. Others came to bathe, as the camps didn't have facilities. Some came just to watch TV or talk to friends. Close quarters living conditions among the displaced brought gender-based violence and abuse into the open. The center's counselors could help sometimes. One girl lost both parents in the tsunami. In the camp, her brother was sexually abusing her. She was hesitant at first, but eventually she talked about it. We got the girl and her sisters into a church shelter where they would be safe. Over time, the focus shifted from post-tsunami trauma to family issues, often involving alcohol or drug abuse. A woman asked us to mediate. Her husband was drinking and hitting her, and she had problems with her in-laws. After many discussions, the relatives agreed to move out. Now the couple is getting along better. An NGO called Women in Need set up four counseling centers after the tsunami. The one in Matara also offers discussions and cultural performances on gender-based violence and money-making activities for women who have endured it. When they started, organizers had to persuade the community that their aim was to keep families together, not to separate them. In Matara, a lot of women spend a lot of time in those centers. Because it's, one thing is it's away from violence, other thing is it's their time, it's their space, and it's their life. Whether they are listening to a song or whether they are uh, sewing a baby shirt, they're doing it in peace, without disturbance. Vinita earns a small income selling porridge. For her, the center has come 30 years too late. My husband was supporting 10 other family members and there was never enough food. I was given so little to eat that I couldn't produce milk for my baby. One day, I took some money from my husband's wallet and asked a child to go buy me some bread. When my husband found out, he beat me and threw me out. I was so traumatized and weak from hunger that my parents persuaded me not to go back. The Matata Hospital also has a counseling program. When hospital workers or community midwives suspect a woman has been subjected to violence, they encourage her to visit the special unit. When women come for help, we don't ask about their problems directly. We speak to them in a motherly way to help them get rid of their fear and inhibitions. Clients are referred for psychiatric care or marital counseling. In a few cases, the police may be involved as a last resort. If we can get the husbands to come, we tell them that drinking and domestic violence affect their children. Most abused women are reluctant to leave their husbands. Being a single mother is too difficult here, and there is a stigma attached to divorce. The idea was providing all services under one roof. Because you go for your injuries, you have, we had a counsellor, we have legal support and we have the medical support and there is always a police post in the hospitals. The Matara programs are models for several women's centres that UNFPA plans to support in the coming months. Some will be in areas where people have been uprooted by Sri Lanka's long-running civil war. Gender-based violence in Sri Lanka is a priority for UNFPA because we have uh, documentation and surveys showing that there is a prevalent uh, problem, not only in the conflict-affected areas, but actually across the country. But there are special issues uh, relating to gender-based violence, uh, of course, in conflict-affected areas. And this is, again, where it's very, very important to establish 
women's centers which can provide or which can cater for a number of needs that women have in that situation, whether it is medical treatment, whether it is uh, support to actually um, report to the police what happened to them, uh, support to take their case to court if they choose to do so. I was so young and I knew nothing about married life. If I'd had a place like this to go when I was abused, my family might still be together. I often tell my son, don't abuse alcohol like your father did, and respect your wife. William A. Ryan and Mark Westhoff prepared this report for UNFPA.